recently you often hear people say today the students are different and the faculty say that they, we have to give them capability to think themselves on their own in a flood of information. Students understand things easy to understand, but not anymore if we don't support them. So we have to give them opportunity to develop uh, their thinking capability within an uh, environment with limited amount of resources, they should be given an opportunity to think deeply. It's quite important for students to develop a thinking capability, not relying on the simple uh, sheer volume of information. But what can we do? Whenever we think about the information infrastructure at Kyoto, we are far behind the U.S. Uh, counterparts, so we know what should we should do. And we have to catch up, but also we want to try something very innovative and interesting at Kyoto. Active learning or the flip learning is what we want to realize, offering support with ICT capabilities or self-learning environment. How can we provide it? And we need to observe how students are learning in a self-learning environment, and that data must be made available to faculties. So we need to accumulate the data sets for each individual student, and uh, that observed data should offer support in guiding faculty in teaching those students. BYOD or small group discussion must be also supported by ICT, and we need to offer better environment for self-learning. We need to offer capability to log the learning behaviors so that we can visualize learning experiences of students. And that kind of information should enhance the support provided by faculties. Uh, this is the first learning commons in our library, not so many ICT devices, only one or two projectors. So we hope to enhance ICT capabilities in the existing learning commons. These kinds of spaces are under control of each individual uh, the academic de department, and it's quite difficult to uh, negotiate with each individual department about how to include uh, ICT later. But we changed our uh, the strategy, and we offer recommended plan, and only when one particular department decide to introduce those ICT capability according to our recommended uh, plan. Uh, the institute is ready to support them. This is how we are going to do it. So institute offer recommended plan. Of course, we are happy to have individual efforts by the faculty. But uh, our institute is more about the standardized uh, the capability prepared according to our recommended criteria. This is what we hope to promote and want to see how it works. Talking about the future, to make this kind of situation possible, what should we do? Talking about the individual information of the students. It's uh, log data uh, of the uh, behaviors of each individual students, but this belong to the privacy. So that at the time uh, of the admission to the university, we need to get uh, the informed consent from the student about the use of the information. But the objectives uh, would be stated like, uh, we are going to use your personal information for your advantage. And uh, the statement would say that the detail will be described later on the home page. So within the framework of for your benefit, the data uh, will be utilized 
And once the clear objectives are uh, determined, it will be stated on the home page. And uh, we want to get this kind of informed consent uh, at the time of admission, meaning you have one opportunity for four years of experience in a university. So we have to be successful when the student joins a university. Like uh, U.S. universities, we hope to improve our capability in providing useful information to the students, like uh, uh, the, the opening uh, for the part-time jobs on the campus. So we need to offer better portal so that the students find it useful to come to the portal. And uh, Professor Iyoshi is offering support for the content creation, but you need software-based support. So under the leadership of instructional designer, our institute wish to provide a good support for the actual creation of the content. ICT environment alone is not enough to induce professors to prepare better content. We offer the infrastructure, and the infrastructure is supporting faculties who are giving lectures. But it's possible that the faculty professor do not understand how they should use various capabilities. The Panda is not so widely used among the students because the faculties or professors do not understand how to use it. and. Uh, we need to offer uh, the explicit support to faculties because otherwise they may not disclose that they actually don't un understand how to use band effectively. What we can do may be limited, so we need to get support from Professor EOC's organization. And you should go beyond the limits of a university together with universities in Japan and abroad. Now that we have a better infrastructure of information, we need to start creating collaboration among other universities. We are looking for partner universities. If the partner is so much advanced, uh, it's quite difficult to find the mutual benefit. So we want to find the partners at the, sim at the similar level in terms of the information infrastructure environment. We are visiting various universities trying to find the best partners. We need to understand the possible partners' needs and trying to match that with our needs. We need to connect data of learning before the students join the university and also uh, after leaving the university. We have so many challenges and we have lots of ideas to improve the situation. And with this, I would like to conclude my presentation. Thank you very much. <laughs>